So today is a very special day because I got to play with the Huawei Mate X. And yes, I've seen it before in like dark dungeon rooms down in Huawei's headquarters. And I've seen it at MWC where we got to see it from behind a glass panel. But now I actually got to play with it for about two hours straight. And I've got to say it was a pretty cool experience. So I first just wanna take you through my experience and then I wanna take you through a couple new small updates about the Mate X that we just learned today at a small round table after the Huawei IFA keynote. So first of all, just like the Samsung Galaxy Fold, I freaking love foldable phones. They are so fun to play with. You can just open them up and suddenly you have this whole tablet experience. Now, what's really nice about the Huawei Mate X is that you've actually got pretty much a normal sized phone when it is in the closed mode. Whereas the Samsung Galaxy Fold has a small four and a half inch screen on there. The Huawei Mate X has a huge screen that you get to interact with so you don't have to use it in the unfolded mode most of the time. But when you unfold it, you get this giant kind of one-to-one -one display. And it's a little bit weird because one-to-one -one is not really optimal for pretty much any kind of content, but it's still bigger than the kind of content that you would be usually watching or reading when you have the phone in regular mode. So it's still really nice. Also websites and other things that you're reading will scale to fit that one-to-one -one display. So it's still really handy if you're like reading a book or if you're reading a website. Another thing I really like about this phone is the hinge mechanism. So you have to press this physical button which swings the rest of the screen around and there's a hinge mechanism that lets this work. Now at pretty much any angle but a glare angle you really can't notice the crease. If you do look at the phone in a glaring angle you will notice the crease a little bit more than we saw on the Samsung Galaxy Fold but honestly it's not that bad. If you're just reading content or watching video on this phone you're not going to notice that crease. Now I was using the Chinese version of this phone so there's no Google Play Store although there's probably not going to be any native Google Play Store on this phone anyway because Huawei is not really allowed to use Google Play services. But Huawei did say that they are working with third parties to be able to get the Google Play Store onto this phone. Now, just like Oppo and Vivo are able to just download the Google Play Store as an app through the Oppo App Store, Huawei is going to be working with a third party to also be able to get the Google Play Store onto their phone. Now, it does seem a little weird, but we don't even really know if Huawei is going to be selling this phone outside of China. So there's probably going to be plenty of people that are going to want to import it from China to get it in America, because honestly, it's just a really great, cool, foldable phone. Now, something else that's a little bit interesting is that Huawei said that they actually could have started selling the Mate X last month, and they are going to put it on sale next month. And the reason that they didn't start selling it last month was because they really wanted to work with the developers that were putting the apps on this phone to make sure that the app continuity was there. And that means that the app should be able to be in its default state while you have the phone closed. And then when you open it up to reveal that awesome tablet-like state, the app will actually scale with the phone so it doesn't look really janky and weird. But I'm honestly really stoked this phone is going to be launching next month because I really enjoyed my two hours with this device and I want to spend a little bit more time with it so I can see if foldable phones are really the future. Now the Samsung Galaxy Fold is launching later this month and we're hopefully going to be getting our hands on it really, really soon. So I'll be sure to let you know if I think that foldable phones are the future once I get to play with multiple foldable phones. And we did ask Huawei if they were going to be reducing the price of this phone because the phone did get announced like multiple, multiple months ago. And they wouldn't comment on that, but we're hoping that we learn more over at the Huawei Mate 30 Pro launch event in Munich, Germany in just a couple of weeks. So that's been about it for the Huawei Mate X. Now I just also did something on the Samsung Galaxy Fold if you wanna go check that out. And also there's apparently a bunch of foldable TCL displays here at IFA as well. So we're gonna have a bunch of photos of that over at androidauthority.com where you can get all the information from IFA and beyond. So until the next video, I will catch you later.